Hi, I'm Eric Lashley, the director of the Georgetown Public Library, but I'm also the staff liaison for the Georgetown Public or the Georgetown Arts and Culture Board. And we are in a partnership with Georgetown Artworks, a nonprofit arts organization here in Georgetown to create an art center. And the art center will be located at the historic uh, fire station on Main Street on 9th and Main. It's a 120-year-old building, lots of history. It was a fire station, it was a police station, it was a city jail, city council offices. And so uh, we're restoring that historic building and creating a new uh, life for that building by creating an art center. My name is Jane Estes and I am president of Georgetown Artworks. We're a nonprofit located in Georgetown, Texas with the mission to elevate the arts landscape of Georgetown for the economic and cultural benefit of our community and the surrounding area and beyond. We are currently in partnership with the City of Georgetown to develop the Georgetown Arts Center opening in just a few weeks and our idea is to bring a visual arts piece um, to the community at the same level that we already have wonderful performing arts and uh, musical and theater arts. Well, Georgetown has created this art center as a quality of life issue. We want there to be a reason for people to enjoy art and culture in Georgetown. We're actually getting the cultural district designation from the Texas Commission on the Arts this month in September. Um, and so again, we wanted a, a reason for people to come and enjoy art in the downtown. That's the primary thing. Keep tourists coming to the downtown. Uh, provide a place where people can view art, purchase art, and make art. So those are the three components. And it's not a museum. There will be a rotating show about every eight weeks. So if you come to the art center one month, you can come back another month and see something completely different. World-class art, that's the other thing. It's not just going to be blue bonnets. There's nothing wrong with blue bonnets. But uh, we are going to have some world-class artists uh, showing in this space. And again, we want to elevate the art scene here in Georgetown. And it is a beautiful space redesigned by Gary Wong. He has taken the 120-year-old building and refreshed it, modernized it, and yet paid homage to its its roots and its history. We will be fe uh, featuring local in Georgetown, Williamson County, Austin artists uh, throughout the year. We'll have a number of shows that will be curated that will pick an artist to come in and they may be from Indonesia, Boston, New York, you never know. But we will have open calls for shows for local artists. So again, we're thinking about uh, things that would be uh, more interesting to the common folk. We don't want to be all artsy fartsy or high brow. We want this to be a place where people are not going to feel intimidated, where they're going to come and see art that may make them think differently, but we're not out there to hit them over the head with art or trying to be all, again, fancy schmancy or anything like that. In the studio, we are offering classes for children and adults, and our education team has worked very hard to develop curriculum for children ages six and up. Um, we started with summer camps this summer, even though our building wasn't ready. We hosted them in the library to great success. Yes, we will have lots of programs for kids. Actually, the Art Center is going to be divided into two different spaces. One is a gallery space, which will have a monthly show or every eight weeks or so. And the other space is a studio space. So we're going to have after school programs. We're going to have preschool programs for kids. We'll work with the school district. We'll have art camps in the summers where we've actually used uh, the art teachers from the school district to come in and teach art classes during the summers. So we really want it to have a, a huge kids uh, element to it. Our organization, Georgetown Artworks, will be the managing nonprofit or the managing entity of the entire center. It will be volunteer run in, and staffed. So we already have a pool of volunteers that numbers uh, about 80. We are looking for new volunteers and that we have something available for anybody with any sort of interest or background. So we are looking for people who are excited about the arts, who want to be involved in the visual arts, and we have committee work, we have uh, board um, work that people could help with, but I think it'd be a really fun job to greet people at the Art Center and talk about art all day. Uh, when the city decided to have an art center, they did not want it to be a city department like the library or the police department. They were uh, happy to fund the renovation of the uh, fire station, 
but they didn't want to create uh, an entity that was based on taxpayer subsidies the entire time. So they're going to provide the volunteers, they're going to manage the art center, keep it open six days a week, manage the uh, gift shop and other things. And so again, their level of professionalism and the way where they want to go in three years, five years, uh, my goal, their goal is to out, actually outgrow that space. So we are uh, attempting to raise $100,000 within the next year. The, the city has paid for the brick and mortar and we are responsible for everything else. So any little bit you could, you could donate goes a long way because we're the little non nonprofit that could. We never stop. We have a website, georgetownartworks.org, and you can get on our website, find out about exhibits, about events, and you can also donate, and it's very easy. You just click on the donate button and choose what you'd like to donate. You can also become a member. That way we accept memberships, um, which allows you to have a discount at uh, the gift shop as well as a discount on classes. So it, it really pays to be a member.